This is now our fifth video on proof by induction. In the question, we're asked to prove by the method of mathematical induction the following statement for n, where n is a positive integer. So this time we've got a matrix equation. On the left-hand side, we've got 3, minus 4, 1, minus 1, raised to the power of n. On the right-hand side, we've got 2n plus 1, minus 4n, n, minus 2n plus 1. What we're going to do here is start off with our basis case, and we will let n be equal to 1. So, will let n be equal to 1, sub this into the left-hand side of the equation, sub it into the right-hand side of the equation, and show that they're equal. So, left-hand side, if we just consider now, we're going to have 3 minus 4, we're going to have 1 minus 1, and that's to the power of 1. Quite clearly, that's just going to give us 3 minus 4, 1 minus 1. If we now consider the right-hand side, we're going to sub in 1. So what we'll get is 2 lots of 1 plus 1. Then we'll get minus 4 lots of 1. We'll have now 1. And then we'll have minus 2 lots of 1 plus 1. So just tidying this up now, what we're going to have, that's going to give me 3. So we can see we've got 3 minus 4. We've got 1. Minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. So from here, we can see these two things equal, so we can now state shown true for n is equal to 1. So writing this out, shown true for n is equal to 1. So that's our basis case done. We simply sub 1 into either side of the matrix equation. We now set up set, uh, step 2. So step 2 is the assumption. We can write shown true for n is equal to 1. We now assume true, so assume true for n is equal to k. k is a positive integer such that, and all we're going to do is simply sub this in to the left-hand side and right-hand side. We're going to have now 3 minus 4, 1 minus 1 to the power of k will be equal to 2k plus 1 minus 4k, then we can have k minus 2k plus 1. So there we go. That's our second step. That's the assumption. We've shown it's true for n is equal to 1. We now assume it's true for n is equal to k, where k is a positive integer, such that the matrix equation becomes this right here. So let's move on to step 3. Step 3 is the inductive step. So what we can say is, if true, and we can write this out, if true for n is equal to k, then true for n is equal to k plus 1. So if k was 5, k plus 1 is 6, it's the next positive integer. Such that, and we can just consider now the, uh, the left-hand side of the matrix equation, what we're going to get then is this right here when n is equal to k plus 1. So what we can say then is 3 minus 4, 1 minus 1, and now we've got k plus 1. Let's consider how we could rewrite this. We could write this as 3 minus 4, 1 minus 1 to the power of k multiplied by 3 minus 4, 1 minus 1 to the power of 1. When we're multiplying now, we simply add the powers. Now, if we consider this just here, that would uh, be equal to this one right here. So what we can write is but... Now, 3 minus 4, 1 minus 1 to the power of k from our assumption, based on our assumption, will give us now 2k plus 1 minus 4k. Then we'll have k minus 2k plus 1. So what we can do now is simply sub that in. Therefore, we can say that 3 minus 4, 1 minus 1 to the power of k plus 1 will be equal now to 2k plus 1 minus 4k, k, and then we're going to have minus 2k plus 1. We're going to multiply that now by the following. So all we do is multiply, and we're going to have 3 minus 4, 1, and minus 1. So what we're going to get now is this matrix, or these two matrices, multiplied out and a big load of mess. So what we can say then is 3 minus 4, we've got 1 minus 1 to the power of k plus 1 will be equal to, and we're going to multiply this out. When we're multiplying the matrices, we do row by column. If you need to learn how to do that, please go back and check the videos, as I'll assume you're pretty happy with it. So if we go ahead and multiply this, what we're going to have is 3 lots of 2k plus 1. Then we're going to have plus 
Now, 1 multiplied by minus 4k. So all I've done is row by column. I'm now going to do row by column. So what we're going to have then is minus 4, and then we'll multiply this by 2k plus 1. So 2k plus 1. And then we're going to have now plus, and we'll have minus 1 multiplied by minus 4k. Next one, this row by this column. So what we'll have is three lots of k. Then we'll have plus, now 1 multiplied. Let's just put these in just to keep that consistent. We'll have 1 multiplied by minus 2k plus 1. Next one, we're going to have now the following. We'll have minus 4 multiplied by k. Then we're going to have now plus minus 1 multiplied by minus 2k plus 1. So this is our matrix, and it looks a complete mess. What we're trying to do is show now that this is going to be the same when n is equal to k plus 1. And often having this to hand will guide you to manipulate it. It's just basically tidying it up. So what we'll have then is 3 minus 4, 1 minus 1 to the power of k plus 1 will be equal to, and we're going to expand this out now. In the exam, show all of your workings. I'm going to have 6k minus 4k, which is going to give me 2k, and then I'm going to have plus 3. If we now consider this one, minus 8k minus 4 plus 4k, so that's going to give me minus 4k, and then I'm going to have minus 4. Okay, let's look at this one. We're going to have 3k minus 2k plus 1, which is going to be k plus 1. If we consider this one, we're going to have minus 4k plus 2k minus 1, which is going to be minus 2k minus 1. So if you want to go back and look at this form right here, what you might want to do is just put it now in this form where n is equal to k plus 1. So if we do that, what we're going to have, and let's just tidy this bit up here, we're going to show now this is the same matrix we got above where n is equal to k plus 1. So we can say 3 minus 4, 1 minus 1 to the power of k plus 1. Now what we can do is the following. I can write this as 2 k plus 1 plus 1. So if we consider, if I expanded this out, I get 2k plus 3. What I'm trying to do is replicate this by having n is equal to k plus 1. So if I look at this one, I can factor this, and I can write this now as minus 4k plus 1. So quite clearly, we can see all I've done is taken the common factor out and gone from there. On this one, nice and straightforward, we've got now k plus 1. Okay, the last one, what we want is minus 2n plus 1. So what we can write now is minus 2k plus 1 plus 1. Now, if we expand this out, what we're going to get is minus 2k minus 2 plus 1, which gives us that. Now, that will give us this expression right here. Therefore, we can now write, therefore, shown true for n is equal to k plus 1. So all I've done is simply multiply the thing out and shown that it's this right-hand side just here when n is equal to k plus 1. We've got n is equal to k plus 1 on the left. Now we've got it on the right. So all we need to do from here is now do our conclusion. So what we'll do is our conclusion and simply state now. Let's drag that down here. And we can write if true for n is equal to k. So write in here if true for n is equal to k, shown true, so we can write shown true for n is equal to k plus 1. We've shown true, so shown true for n is equal to 1, therefore true for all n, so for all n, where n is a positive integer, so writing this down by mathematical induction. So mathematical induction. And there we go. So all we've done is simply now used some of the, the rules that we know from matrix multiplication to manipulate this to prove this by induction. So there we go. That's the fifth example that we've done and we're dealing now with matrix equations.